Hello and welcome to another YouTube video. Today I will be discussing how to book properly. The amount of weight gain that you will try to shoot for will be around 0.5 towards 1% of keto body weight each week. The amount of protein that you will um, likely need will be around 1.6 towards 2 grams of protein per kilo of body weight uh, each day. So let's say if you're 70 kilos, um, just try to get 140 grams of protein each day. And that line we are with is steadily rising. Only increase your protein if it's below that 1.6 grams per kilo of body weight. The fat intake, um, I would advise to do um, to get around one gram of kilo of body weight uh, uh, each day. So again, if you're 70 kilos, around 70 grams of fats each day would suffice. Um, when you are again gaining weight, and that equation of 70 grams. It's more like um, 0 0.5 or 0 0.75 per kilo uh, of fat each day. Since your weight uh, is has risen, then it's um, a good time to increase the fat a bit again till you have 1 grams of fat uh, each day. The amount of carbs um, is just the rest of the calories that you have available. So, just as an example, um, if you need 2500 of calories to bulk and you have sorted out your um, protein and your fats, the amount of uh, calories that are uh, still left, you can uh, use it for carb intake. Um, and if you uh, follow that properly or as good as possible, uh, and you see that your weight gain is um, more than 1% per uh, week. Now you probably need to lower your carb intake a bit since the calories will go down also. So that your weight rate of gain will be more probably around 1.0 to 1 gram of 1 percentage each week um, per kilo of body weight. If you are, since I'm weighing 70 kilos, I always use 70 kilos as an example. Um, if you are 70 kilos and you want to bulk up towards 80 kilos, that's a big um, difference. I wouldn't advise to do that in one sitting, in one uh, trajectory. Um, you need, prob you probably need some maintenance time to get used to that weight, uh, that new weight. So let's say if you weigh uh, 70 kilos and you gain about 1% each week, then in around, um, let's say five weeks, you'll probably would gain around 3.5 kilos, give or take. So then your new weight would be somewhere between um, 73 and 74 uh, kilo. When you, um, you probably notice that your hunger will subside and it's uh, more difficult to gain weight since you are a larger person. Um, and just psychotic, uh, mentally, um, you'll be more fatigued um, to get that um, calories in. At least that's for me. Then your body would be um, uh, wise to do a maintenance phase around five, six weeks, probably eight, perhaps eight weeks, to maintain that new body weight of 73 kilos. And afterwards, you can um, or put on that, or to um, again gain uh, weight for around eight weeks to get towards that uh, 76, 77 kilos of body weight. And afterwards, again, made this phase to um, get used to that new body weight. Always keep your uh, body fat in check, visualize, um, visually, or with a uh, measurement, just to be on a healthy side. Um, of course, health is the most important thing. 
Yes, you, we all want to go to Brazil, but not at expense of our health. That would be um, unwise to do so. So to recap, the amount of weight gain each week would be around 0 0.5 up towards 1% per kilo of body weight each week. The amount of protein would be around 1.6 to 2 grams of protein per kilo of body weight each day. The amount of fats would be around 0 0.75 up towards 1 gram per kilo of body weight. Um, the rest of the calories that you have available you can put in um, the carbohydrates and 